Hey everybody, what's happening? Welcome to this episode of Press Start TV. Today, we're gonna go over a lot of stuff. We've got uh, some great news about the PS4, uh, some good games coming out, of course, Star Wars, some fourth quarter stuff, microtransactions and all that jazz. Yay. Yay. Uh, but welcome, my name's Will, this is Nine. Yo. This is Gage. Hello. And we're gonna get started and get into this. So gentlemen, it's big news for Sony PlayStation. The Sony PlayStation has finally dropped in price. Right before the holiday season, this was to be expected, right? Yeah. Uh, I, I think it, it kind of caught me off guard. Really? I think, I think it surprised me. Two years? Yeah, it, but it I mean... Caught you off guard? And Microsoft's dropped their console. I, I know, Microsoft but still. just dropped theirs like a couple weeks ago. No, it was, it's been... It's been, it's it's been, been, it's been for dropped a for a while, but even then, Sony's still beating them every month sales-wise. It is. Uh, they are. This uh, is just leveling the playing field now. But now, I guess, uh, the idea is the... The 500 gig option will go to 350, and then a one terabyte option will come in with the launch of, I believe, Black Ops is the first bundle to have the terabyte. Is that a one terabyte? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's one terabyte. I don't but, know if the Battlefront one will be I don't one think terabyte. So. I think that was 500 as well. Yeah. 500. But it is Vader. It is Vader. Yeah, you, you, pay, you pay for Vader. Sweet, sweet controller. <laughs> Now, I mean, we talked about this last week, um, or maybe it was the week before, but there's a lot of games that are coming out, or, or systems that are coming out that are bundled in or have the graphic for an upcoming game. So there, that's a thing. Well, yeah, I mean, it's holiday <coughs> season. We're going to see a lot of that. Uh, I think the price drops a, is a good time, and I think this is a way Sony really combats not having a strong holiday lineup anyway. Yeah. They're like, well, if we, and we don't have a lot of games coming out, but you could buy our old catalog, but... And we're here. You go. It's fifty dollars cheaper if you're gonna get the regular one. So, so I think the yeah. last, the last of us bundles, uh, three fifty now. Mm -hmm. uh, the regular PS4 of course, three fifty. Maybe the Madden bundle. The Destiny bundle still staying at four hundred. Um, it's limited edition. Yeah, limited edition stuff. So, yeah, you've got the Battlefront without the Vader edition at three fifty. So there's a game. So really, the console ends up being like three hundred bucks. So it's not too bad. No. Um, now again, I mean, uh, Sony's dropping the, uh, the cost of their console, so that's a great thing going into holiday season. But would, do they have good games that are coming going to match that, or what? I mean, I mean you mentioned that their good games already out. Yeah, the Uncharted collection is already out. Yeah, that's all. Awesome. And until so, dawn, and until dawn's out, out in August. So like, you've got the next couple months to where you don't have like super awesome Sony exclusives I mean, that are like big AAA titles but they're they don't have indie exclusives stuff. but they're still like major games coming out. Oh sure, out. I mean you got Black Ops, Black uh, Ops Star Wars, Battlefront. Uh, Fallout. Yeah, like all that stuff's coming out for your PlayStation, but it's not like not Tomb Raider. Not Tomb Raider. Not but even you buy your PlayStation because right you not probably like you, you like PlayStation better. You know, you like their exclusives better. You're not getting exclusives. Nothing. Sure. So just enjoy just your things, I guess. Collection. That's it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, by the way, you're watching and you're listening to Press Start TV. Oh, I should mention, by the way, that this is not a permanent setup uh, okay. in case all you YouTube viewers out there are wondering, but this is, a, this is a temporary fix. So there you Some go. chaos Just, in our current set. Yeah, figured we'd throw that out there. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077 is out uh, or, or is announced the next title from CG Project out. Red. I wish um, it was. And apparently it's going to be a lot bigger than The Witcher 3. Yeah, the term. The Witcher users. 3 is... A pretty huge. large, huge, yeah. Overwhelm. I've huge. talked about it all the time. It's overwhelmingly big. I mean, how would you know? You haven't finished much, it, really. Well, the, what I've seen is way too much. <laughs> it's just too much. If I if there's a car in Cyberpunk 2077, I'm fine. I'm tired of riding horses everywhere. Oh yeah, they're boring <laughs> and they're Skyrim? slow. Skyrim. Yeah, and think about sc Skyrim horses. Those so they could walk up mountains. True, I mean, but the whole realistic thing, like, oh, your, your yeah. horse gets tired, it's you can't run anywhere. I was like, I don't, I don't care about my horse being tired. I want to run somewhere. It's a video game. This ain't real life. I don't. Yeah, I don't want that kind of immersion. I don't need to see someone open a door to know a door's opening. Just put me through. The Some people door. do. It's so annoying. I don't care if you're. It's you're playing a game. Apparently, you're very passionate about this, so that's great. That, I hate Red Dead Redemption <laughs> because of this. <laughs> that's a great game. It's not. Man. I didn't like it, so I'm on your page with that. I loved it. Thought it was great. Um, Anyway. So what do we know about this game? Cyberpunk uh, 2077. In the future, obviously. Like, what, 2077? Like somewhere in there, somewhere in that range. Um, and it's like an Android-based augmented, kind of like a Deus Ex kind of augment your body kind of thing. But <laughs> Like a tattoo. <laughs> No, like chop your arm off. And I, go know, like, like I know, Nine. I know. That's stuff. the like joke. Like pain kind of thing. Goodness. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so we don't know much. I mean, no, I mean, what they put they out was they put out that really 
cool looking Beautiful teaser trailer. trailer. Yeah, it looked really Two good. Two years ago, I think. Yeah, but the thing about it, them putting it out so far early in advance is that's not how your game is going to look like. It's not going to look like it's this. It's better than that. Well, I mean, you, you know what I mean. It's not. This isn't your, your the game. This is this is a demo reel to get people excited about this thing. Let's bring in money. Let's bring in people who want to work on this. Here's a job opportunity. It's like a LinkedIn in a video. And now apparently it's far, far bigger <laughs> than Witcher 3. Which means you're not going to finish it, probably. Probably not. But if it, he probably if, won't buy it. If the gameplay is better than The Witcher, then sure. If I don't have two swords to forget about, then yeah, I'll play it. Yeah, you have two guns. If I, if there's a gun for people and a gun for androids, I will not buy this game. <laughs> I will be really mad if I have to. It'd be like a first-person shooter almost. It probably won't be guns. It'll probably be ammo or lasers. Like, you'll have different ammo. You can use the same gun for the no, same No, if my right like, trigger is for people and my left trigger is for uh, aliens or androids, androids or whatever. Aliens in this game? I, I, don't, cool. I don't know if that would game. be something We're I'm speculating, by the way, so we'll no, see what the happening. game brings. Since, uh, I, I mean, since I don't want it, that means it's happening. I'm sure it's going to be a, a fun game. Some people do like that. Wow, it's going to be really big. It's a lot to explore, lots of gameplay, you know, so you get your money's worth. Well, if you're spending 60 bucks in a game, you want to have too you much. You want to get your do, money's worth, so. Uh, Not me. Not you. <laughs> I want to Except be able to finish something. <laughs> uh, Battlefield Hardline, now available on EA Access. That's pretty cool. Hooray, it's free. If you own EA Access and you have access to the vault, which you do because you pay for it, you get to download it for free. Did you play Hardline at all? Nope. Yeah. It's good. Some people were on board I mean, I it? played it at E3. I enjoyed it at E3. I liked it better than Battlefield 4. Did you really? Yes. Yeah, a lot of people are telling me they like Battlefield 4 better. Yeah, I see no, I Battlefield, I'm here in the verse. No, Battlefield 4, bad. Battlefield Hardline, 4 good. put a sour taste in my mouth because it was that horrid launch that it had. It well, didn't yeah, work, then. and it didn't work for months. That's and very true. they fixed that, it, they made something else break. That's very true. It was a, so, it was a tough start, but um, a, a lot of people prefer the old kind of regular war stuff compared to the cost robbers, but I think it is pretty good overall. I like it. It's refreshing. It's very, it's very good. All right. We'll have uh, Star Wars beta impressions when we get back. What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. So we just got to talk about the PS4 price drop to 350 on some models. Uh, one terabyte coming out for 400 still, but there you go. Cyber, <laughs> Cyberpunk 2077, huge game, bigger than The Witcher, and Battlefield Hardline is now available on EA Access. So now let's talk about Far Cry Primal. Uh, uh, I guess it's coming out in February. Yes. The 23rd. Yes. What do we know about this game? So, me and Nine talked about this a little bit on the checkpoint, um, but we just want to iterate here. Far Cry Primal was just announced last week. Yeah. Just Sorry like, I wasn't what? on check well, IGN Check. like leaked the trailer. The day before, sure. And then they came out and just announced it the next day and everybody's like, this is coming out. So is this the next gen Far Cry game or what? It That's looks, what we were it, discussing yeah, on the checkpoint. Yeah, it's lo it looks like it's running on the Far Cry 4 engine. It looks very Far Cry 4. Like the scenery, everything looks super Far Cry 4. If you did any of the... the Do we know what the law, premise is at all or...? Like, that's what I was getting at. Okay. Right. Did you do any of the Shangri-La sections in Far Cry 4? Sure. Yeah. Looks exactly It looks like, like a game built on that. But this is taking place during the uh, prehistoric, prehistoric era. So, so like there's woolly mammoths, mammoths saber-toothed tigers running around. You've got spears and spears, bows. Spears, bows and stuff. It looks like you're actually killing animals and making new weapons from them. Good? No good? Yeah, I think I, I'm, I welcome more Far Cry. It feels like... Sure. It's more of a... It's going to be interesting to see, because you know the Far Cry games have the, the interesting twist, very story-driven, great, great, st it tells the story great. It's going to be difficult to pull off in such an early well, setting. Well, what I'm worried about is, and I'm not worried about like the setting of the game, I think they can do any setting with Far Cry and just kind of pull it off if they have that kind of story element there. I'm worried it's announced in October. It's coming out in February. That is a little crazy, huh? That's four months. And we didn't hear anything. Far, Far Cry has been an E3 announcement for the last couple of years. They've always had Far Cry yeah. news at E3. And playable Nothing. at E3. This is four, five months? Five, five months? months out yeah. of Far Cry. And they have a, an exact release date. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, already. Well, Which makes me say it's probably something like End of the Blood Dragon, where it's but, like an Blood expansion, Dragon. like a high-end expansion built on the four, Far Cry 4 That makes engine. sense. I don't know. I think this I is a full retail yeah, game. Probably a $30, <laughs> yeah. $40. Yeah. I, 
it didn't feel like they made a big deal about who the the lead character is in it and a lot of people are speculating this is a four player co-op kind of game that you work in tribes with to take like, down big animals like a monster hunter the human enemies look just like the priests in the Shangri-La section all right so i have that. no opinion on this uh, we'll wait and see what happens we'll see if gage <laughs> is right we'll see if mine's right is it a, is it an expansion based off of that or is it a full retail game time will tell uh, i think Here's my opinion. I think the game will get pushed back regardless. <laughs> um, it wasn't an E3 announcement. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's get delayed. <laughs> five, five months is, you know. All right. Star Wars, the B Star Wars Battlefront beta is out. I'm sure a lot of you have already played it. It's over. Uh, I'm super excited uh, about the game and can't wait to get your hands on it. The beta itself, I don't think Nine played it, but Gage played <laughs> yeah, it. Gage tried all, to bait me into playing it. We also it. played it at E3. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, by the way, if you're watching, you're listening to Press Start TV. I'm Will. This is Gage. This is Nine. Yep. The beta. Star yes. Wars. What do you think? So, okay, so they made, they made available Walker Assault, Drop Zone, and then a single player mission, which is the, the single player mission is basically a horde mode. And it's offline too, isn't it? Yes, you can yeah. play it offline. Uh, so you there you go. A lot of people are worried about it being an online only game. Yeah, and you can play that co op. Split yeah. screen also. Um, so, a lot of people are. I, okay, here's my pros and cons. So, pro, this is the best Star Wars has ever looked. Ever. And it. I was having, I was geeking out the whole time playing it because I didn't think it looked that great. It looks incredible. Are you're crazy? Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> based you're on insane. based on today's Nine. standards, you that were at game did E3 when we game. were watching their presentation, how they went on scene and pulled off all this stuff to get an authentic. Okay, look. so it's accurate, but it doesn't make it look good. No, just this game look, and this is just a beta build. This isn't even a final think release. It looks that good. Honestly, it really didn't look that good. No, go, it, go on. It's Character easy. models were not um, as right, dense as they needed game to be. Pl gameplay is fun. Uh, I actually, whenever you're in there, I actually feel like I'm part of a rebel alliance, or I'm. So it has a Star Wars forward. feel. Definitely feel like I'm in, like I'm in, just in a big battle of Star Wars, and like I'm running through. No, yeah, no. It, you just don't like Star Wars. That's that All what I it is. Saw was you the same Star Wars. Battle over and over and over again, and I was bored out of my mind. Okay, so when you jump into Call of Duty and you still play the same map over and over again, what That's do you get? That's why I play Call of Duty for like okay. two weeks. So. Did you have a favorite mode that you played? Uh, I, I like Walker Assault. My only uh, ripe with Walker Assault is the Rebels don't have much advantage there, so it's really, really, it's really difficult yeah. for the Rebels to win. Yep. Well, you'd have to literally play as a team sure. to win. Yeah, sure. and no one plays like a team anymore. They're just playing kills. No, everybody just wants <laughs> to That's exactly the problem. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the the Rainbow Six gone. games, too. I mean, here's a case where you have to... Uh, get structured and to pull off, but if people play like that, I guess in the competitive uh, world, some of the teams that are like pro really teams no, yeah. do play as a team. Yeah, but you're not gonna play 20 versus 20 pro. Uh, pro but teams. if you're jumping online no. one night, it's a Wednesday night. You're jumping online. You're not gonna yeah. have that kind of experience. Although you want to, you're probably not gonna have that kind of experience. But people are just running to be Darth Vader. And that's about it. So overall impressions. I li I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I didn't. I was planning on picking up the game anyway. It didn't didn't sway me either way. I'm just more excited for it. A big question, Gage, I'll ask you since Nine will play it, but so. hasn't played it yet. By the way, uh, for those of you who actually care, Gage <laughs> has to watch the movie Braveheart with us before Nine can then play Battlefront. That will happen, and we'll keep you posted on that. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, is it, does it live up to the hype? Yes. I, in my opinion, yes. I think that a lot of people are going to disagree with me, but in, in my opinion, yes. I I'm excited. 25 minutes of live gameplay of him playing it, and <laughs> I was just not that impressed. You're not even willing to give know, it a chance. Before he even That's starts talking, he's like, I don't know. I, like, I, 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 I don't it's just it doesn't look that good. It really doesn't. All right, oh, and then lastly, like uh, Until Dawn came out on the PS4 this year. Plays like a survival horror movie. Uh, a lot of you have probably already played this game. If you haven't, definitely check it out. Short game, multiple endings, lots of fun, very Saw-ish. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is it worthy of a successor already, or what do you think? I, I would like to see a, a successor to this. Yeah. Maybe not like next year. Oh, this I is a game they're like, gonna push out in like a year. Yeah, yeah. I would definitely like to see something come of a sequel or per se. What would you change? I don't know that I'd change anything. I would probably get like a new set of characters with a new story. Different don't, environments. Don't build off the same kind of people because they're all dead. What would you change? I mean, yeah. Um, I, I wouldn't change change characters, change the setting. Um, the recipe is good. Recipe, yeah. I mean, <laughs> the I like recipe's it. perfect. I, it's just, it is. just like what the what Telltale does. All right, Controls we're gonna talk about microtransactions. We'll <laughs> Welcome back <laughs> to Press Start TV. We're gonna, gonna go over microtransactions now. We're just kind of talking about uh, the Star Wars beta and how 
good that is and how we'll wait and see is. how it happens kind of thing. Anyway, uh, Far Cry Primal coming out in supposedly February 23rd <laughs> is the next <laughs> installment of the Far Cry game. And until dawn 2, we're just speculating on that. But now microtransactions. So I know we talked about a little bit about this before. Yeah. And I know, Nine, I'll start with you because... I don't think you're really for these, and, and, and you were pretty opinionated about this. So How you feel about digital games is how I feel. I don't mind digital games. No, but like, just Hear out. moving towards a digital-only platform. Now like that, you, that's stupid. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's how I feel about microtransactions. It's just stupid. Yeah. I paid $60 for a game. Give me the freaking content. Yeah. Even nine. I shouldn't have so, to pay so $2 let me, I, to get a gun skin that I should be able to unlock through the game. All right, so, so we know Nine's opinion on this. Gage, give me an example on when a microtransaction would be good. Um, exactly. Okay, well, if you're playing, like, a game that has, like, a life life thing where, you're, like, you have five lives, you play that, you're out of lives, or you have to wait 30 minutes to get your lives back, and then you can play it again. That is stupid. If you want to keep playing, fine. I think they want to limit how people play. Like, I play a phone game, Pokemon Shuffle. You get five lives, and when you're done, you have to wait 30 minutes for a life to regenerate, then you get to play again. I don't want to be stuck on my phone all day. I like it. It keeps me, you know, like, oh, okay, cool. Like, I'm done. I'm going to move on and do other things. If I want to keep playing, though, if I'm going to, like, long car ride, <laughs> I'll buy another one. Whatever. I'm going to say you don't have a good, uh, no, good example. No, <laughs> I don't. That's so about as good as it no gets. no good example for micro Oh, man, I'm trying to think. Um, if you can't maybe beat the, a level. Maybe the Sims. Sims. Maybe the Sims, sure. if you want to decorate or that into even, it. I wouldn't even consider that like a microtransaction. That's just like DLC at that point. Well, a gun skin sounds like DLC to me. Because a Batman skin is DLC. What? The you skin for unlock Batman? unlock skins in Batman. Not all of them. What about if in like, the next Grand Theft Auto, you go into a convenience store and you actually spend your own money to get stuff? <laughs> or you're dead the gun Yeah, some P's and Q's. <laughs> I can't, nice. I can't use the words I want to describe what kind of We're on the radio. <laughs> that would be I'm the biggest just, move. No, you don't have to buy microtransactions. You don't have to dish your money out after but spending your 60 But I don't want bucks. content locked for me because of microtransactions. Then you should hate season point. passes. Microtransactions are different. Not always. Most of the time, yeah. Is, 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 a Batman, is the Batman skin for Michael Keaton a uh, microtransaction or DLC? That's DLC. Okay. How is a gun skin microtransaction? I'm not, I was using that as an example. That's a bad know, example. I don't even know if that's even a thing. All right, it's so, not. So now give saying. me an example of a of a, a, a uh, give me a bad example of micro transactions. Coins from Metal Gear Solid to upgrade Mother Base. Yeah, that's bad. Okay. But you can so just for those people, your coins. for those people who don't know exactly how this works. By the way, you're watching, listening to Press Start TV. We're in the middle <laughs> of a heated conversation, conversation here. Again. I freaking hate this conversation. <laughs> Obviously, not spinning about it. My name's Will. This is Nine. Yeah. This is a game. Hello. Nine. Um, just for those Stop who, putting people who don't know, video games. okay, but for those people who don't know how it works, explain to me, explain to the people how this works in Metal you, Gear. You, you pay sixty dollars for a game. <laughs> okay. You have to either grind your butt off to upgrade Mother Base, which is ridiculous, or you can give the company you just spent $60 on their product for more money to upgrade it faster. You said it right there. You can. Why would I do you that? You don't have to. Some people aren't good at the game. But Some people don't want to put in the time. It's Some people don't have fair. the time to grind coins. They'll just pay $4.99 for a pack of coins and like, okay, well, upgrade it and then I'll move on and then things will be okay. But it's you not don't have to, make to the buy grind it. that hard for people who'd rather it's do it It's not even that, that difficult to make money in Metal Gear Solid. To get yep. the money you need, it's not that bad. It, it's not the easiest thing to do either. No, but it's not the most difficult. You platinum Dark Souls. Don't complain about difficulty. You're platinum Dark Souls. That's Demon a lie. Souls. Whatever. Demon Souls. Fool. Get it right. Well, that's uh, even worse. That's, that's, yeah, that's Don't you point. dare complain about difficulty to me if you platinum Demon Souls. But there's no microtransactions in Demon Souls. Could, what if there was? Could, I wouldn't have done it. Would you have bought it? Would you buy a Demon Souls microtransaction? <laughs> no. You're a liar. Yeah. You told me you'd pay a seventy-dollar season pass for Demon so, Souls. You lied so, to me. I would buy. So just to, for some break in the action here, uh, kudos by the way for platinum Demon Souls. That was a <laughs> achievement of itself but um, I mean yeah that's a great example I mean but you're both right kind of some people would pay the extra money because they don't have the time right but on the other hand for those people who don't have the time shouldn't have to be sucked into paying extra money to get exactly uh, to, to do it so you it's know a just don't do microtransactions but what if what, there are plenty of people that like microtransactions that and will they're buy idiots. them they're the part of the problem Okay, the people who pre-order probably the problem for broken Yes. <laughs> All you right. sound like you're doing well, a tongue twister yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs>
Peter, Peter Barber. Peter, 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 Peter. <laughs> I like Chuck 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 Wood. Anyway, uh, I, so just saying, if you put microtransactions in a game, you don't have to buy them. I, I don't mind people using them for their own single player experience. If they're if they're available for people to play online, to so like microtransactions to buy a shield or whatever, that's a problem. Okay. If that gets into your game, don't don't worry about buying that game. What about like an bad. Easter egg? I'll go back to Grand Theft Auto for example. You walk into a convenience store, there's an arcade machine in the corner. You sure. can't play it unless you put the the money into it to play. That's it. stupid. I'm yeah? not doing that. That's it. a dumb feature. I'm just that's a I'm dumb idea. Will that's a dumb idea. Okay, it was a dumb this idea. This is why you're not in charge <laughs> of game development. So, so so if you but if, can you think of an idea where it would be good in a game? I'm, oh. sure, I'm sure there's a microtransaction that is good somewhere. I'm sure of it. Supposedly, Warframe system is really good, but I haven't spent much time with Warframe. So. It's a fun game. It's good. I played it when PS4 first came out. Destiny-ish, kind of, sort of. It's very grindy. Yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shocker. I, I didn't Surprise. Get, no, no, no. I, 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 I was a little kind of with you on that. I didn't get too into it either, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, apparently we're all against it because I can't think of an idea. I'm trying to. I can't think of one. And, I'm and not just, totally against it. I'm, I'm just, I don't care. If you want to buy it, Fine. That's your money. That's your thing. But it doesn't I, bother me. If you do put it in your game, you got a guy like Nine and, and me. I mean, that, that's kind of against that. Doesn't want to spend the extra money. It's got to be a really good reason. I mean, so strong, you can get the money out of the, somebody's pocket to actually commit to doing it. I mean, it would have to be a super good reason. I can't think of a reason, you know, at all that that you could do that. But we'll see. <laughs> anyway, we're all against microtransactions. I think. <laughs> okay. Uh, like by, by the way, you can catch us on uh, our new website, which we finally launched, and, and bear with us. It's a work in progress, but it is PressStartTV.com. Again, that's PressStartTV.com. Check out all of our content there. That's all the time we have for you today. Thank you so much for joining us. Until next time, see ya. Bye. Later.